Welcome back guys to the channel, the only channel on YouTube that actually makes fantasy videos. And today guys, Caster Society just dropped the top 8 deck lists for their most recent event, the Caster Society UFO Clash. Now, in case you don't know, it was a tournament that was just held this past Saturday. There was a $50 buy-in and there was some crazy prizing. First, second, and third got official MetaZoo medals. Everyone who entered also got participation medals. And it was like what the top uh I think the first place got like just a crazy amount of a crazy amount of seal products and stuff. Really cool. And guys, before we get into the deck list, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm very excited. Um this is good. I, I gotta say it too, right? This is the most diverse card game that I've ever played. Uh, primarily before this, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot, and there'd be like one or two consistent top-tier decks. This game, it feels like there's just like, like every aura type can do something. And we're gonna look at the top 8 deck list, guys. You're gonna see that pretty much every aura type can do something. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's get into the deck list, guys. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, let's get it. Alright, guys. So we are at the computer and we're over on the Caster Society website. In case y'all want to look at the deck list without hearing my pretty voice, um, I'll go ahead and post the link down below in the description of the video. But uh, first place was Cosmic, second place was Lightning, third was Water, and then top eight was one Fearsome Critter, one Napa OTK, two Cosmic, and one Ami Cook Ice. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and go over. Let's go and go over the first place Cosmic. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll over the deck list, and then if I have any thoughts, I'll go and let you guys know. I haven't, like, thoroughly looked over these decks, but I looked over some of them so far. I Ooh, this is a laser gun deck. Laser beam deck. Ooh, what? So I guess this deck is trying to heavily hit spirits, because, in case you don't know, laser beam gun upgrade. This is just an artifact. Um, it basically can go around artifacts. You can basically go around burrow beasties, you can hit spirit beasties, you can hit invisible beasties. It's just a really great card. Um, I'm surprised they remain decking it. They must have expected a lot of ice then, right? Fourth of July promo? I like that. Black Shard and Meteorite. There's this one, the Dark and... Dark and Cosmic. Okay. I kind of like it. I like it. Almost the full play set of Lizard People. I like the main deck Dampens. Dampens are just so good. And then I guess side deck, oh, oh boy, they had tons of hateful side deck. The, and they also had supernatural black hole side deck. I guess the nice thing about playing Cosmic is that your opponent always has to be careful because they might have supernatural black hole. But I guess that's a decent side. That's nice. I like this. This deck is creative. Oh boy. I see um, in our group, we've been thinking that laser beam gun upgrade is like a good like kind of side deck card, but... If it's working main deck, that's nice. That's nice. All right. That's different. Uh, this second place was Lightning. I actually did look at the Lightning deck already. I actually really like this one. This one is 43 cards. Right off the bat, guys. I think the most important thing, two copies of Lightning Storm. There's so much terror destruction in the metagame right now. I think it's just important to, to run the two Lightning Storms. Uh, three Thunderbirds. I think the only other thing in here was the balancing beams and the lightning in the bottles. Um, balancing beams, in case y'all haven't seen this card, this is usually more of a side deck card. I guess um, if you're older or younger, this card is really great. Uh, it's uh, deal damage to target caster page equal to 10 times the number of years between your age and chosen caster's age. So like, let's say, right, I'm 24 years old and you're 34 years old. That would deal 100 damage. Now, that's really, really good if you're either really young or really old. Um, for me, I wouldn't really want to run it because the average... Uh, I would say the average age of casters is probably around 20 to 26. So, for me, it's pretty useless. But a lot of people do side deck this card. Um, I don't know about main decking it. That's kind of crazy. I guess in most cases for this person, it would probably be a better version of... Lightning Bolt, the only thing is it doesn't trigger Thunderbirds. 
out of here. He has another Dingbo. He has Guabinsec. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy just makes it so that each Terra becomes a Lightning Storm. Which is crazy. So if, if you're playing against Cosmic, I guess this is really good. He has Stone Skin, Flying. I guess you'd bring him out after you already have something to protect him with, which is kind of cool. I like that card. And um, always got to have Fearsome Critters, Side Deck Hate. You know... I always got to keep it. I like the four copies of Wakunyan, and I like the fact that he's not playing Crystals. Crystals, for me, I don't think belong in Lightning anymore. Um, I think Wakunyans just do a really good job of accelerating your aura. And they're not going to be able to destroy it. I mean, he just comes out with... Uh, I mean, yeah, he just does really good. He can come out with Fleet if you want to pay the 50 damage. and Or not Fleet, but he comes in Awakened. And then you just blow them up for two aura. It's really good. Really, really great deck list. I love this one. This one is really good. I do like the Ding Bells as well. Third place was water. Oh, baby. Who could have called that water wasn't dead? Who would have known? I think most people knew that water wasn't dead. Um, this deck looks pretty standard minus the... I guess the Usos are probably the most new thing. Um, I do like this deck though, main decking 4th of July, you got to, 4th of July to, so good, such a good card, and then side deck, he was side decking Rudy, totally not a Timmy, that's crazy, he was also side decking the camouflage potions, just in case, feign deaths, just in case, I like it, he's also main decking another, or side decking another wall of a lake, I like this deck, I feel like water hasn't really changed too, too much, um, looks pretty standard, but I like it. I still like it. Water is still great. This, this deck, I think, uh, is so crazy. It's main decking only six auras. Only main decking six, like, basic auras. And that's crazy. I do like the addition of Forest Elemental. In case you haven't seen this, um, it says, well, first off, it has convert. So if mushrooms are within eyesight, the species has convert. Mushrooms are now a legal fourth wall claimable. So you can just claim that on your fourth wall list and you're good. And the other thing is arena beasties you control cannot be inflicted with status effects from opposing beasties. So your opponent cannot paralyze a Gumbaru. This means that Quetzalcoatlus has an awful matchup against Gumbaru now. It just got a little bit worse because of Forest Elemental. I do like the Exquisite Stews. I think those are really good. Patient Insight. That is a big spell to be playing in this deck, but if it works, it works. It's a nice one of, I guess. And then I do like the side deck a lot, citing the Bursting Spiderlings, first anniversaries, Overgrown City in case you want to get out the Dark War and play Hatefuls. That's pretty good. I like it. I like this one a lot. It's really good. Now this deck, this next deck, um, <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I saw this deck and I was like, what is this, right? Because I scrolled through it really fast and I was like, what is this deck, right? Like, how does this deck win? It's just a Nappa OTK deck. But it's it's using the water engine and it's trying to cycle through your deck. You have exactly one copy of Nappa Rebobs. And I think for this deck, that's probably enough. The newest edition, though, was Dublin Lake Monster. Uh, this guy's actually really crazy. He has a contract effect. He's kind of like a mini title pool. You just draw one, put one at the bottom. I think that's pretty good. Uh, there is also... There is also main deck dampens. I like that. And then he's also side decking into just kind of like a regular water deck. Just in case he uh, doesn't feel like this does enough, I guess. Right? You can side out. Let's say you're setting into water, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 12, side out 12 cards, so, it doesn't have any, uh, oh, I gotta let my dog in, man, oh, Rosie, oh, oh, no, it was my other dog, my other dog was trying to get upstairs, okay, that's cool, so, you have 12 side deck spots, I'm thinking, if you were to side deck to play water, Take out the two stews, take out Growth Kryptonation, that's four. Take out the Dublin, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe keep the neutralities, I guess. I, I actually don't know. I don't want to say take out anything specific, but for sure the growth, Crypto Nation, the Stews, the Dub maybe the Dublins, probably keep them in because they're still playing water. Take out the Napa. Take out the Full Moon. I don't know. That just seems like a really creative deck. I like that a lot. Now, next off, we have Cosmic. Um, one of these Cosmic decks was my boy John's. I'm not sure which exactly it was, but we'll go ahead and see. I'll probably ask him later which one it was. Now, this one is... Uh, I think, yeah, this is the one that I liked more. Uh, this one is uh, straight up cosmic, no special auras. I like this one a lot. Uh, playing the jellies, playing Black Knight Satellite. So, in case y'all don't know, this is a 6 cost BC. Really good thing about him is that he can hit burrowed BCs with his attack. So, Ami Cook. Just hit, just hit Ami Cook, it's fine. Uh, really, really cool. Terraforming, I think, is a must-have in the main deck. Pocket Dimension Orb, I think, is also really great. Uh, so, basically, it's just a one-cost, one-neutral, uh, has convert, has self-destruct, and then it also triggers for stars. So, I'm not sure if any of these have star bonuses, but... I guess Flatwoods does. And then he's also playing a new copy, uh, uh, one copy of Flatwoods Monster. This is the new one. And uh, it's kind of like a mini... It's like just a mini lock, kind of, I guess. If you think your opponent has a bunch of BCs in their hand, or if they have a bunch of spells, if they have a bunch of potions, you could just declare a page type, and they can't... Because they can't activate... They can't perform actions with that page, which is crazy. And in case you don't know, actions specifically means that choices that casters make. Um, it does not include, like, game mechanics. So, like... At the start of your turn, right, you draw for turn, you awaken all your pages. That is not an action. Those are all game mechanics. Um, so basically what that means is that you can't contract, you can't use like BC effects, stuff like that, you know. So overall, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I do not like, I do not like the return of Medford Schmooze, but I know it is a very, very good card. Um, the reason why I don't like Medford Schmooze is because it's kind of, it's a roll on the sleep all the time, which is really great when it works, and it really doesn't, it really sucks when it doesn't work, which, sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, did I look at the side deck? He's side decking Space Penguins, I thought that was hilarious. Area 51, I think, is a great side deck. Um, so the first species that enters the area each turn is inflicted with Confuse, unless you pay an extra one neutral aura, which I think is really great. Really slows down the game state. Infinite power. Uh, this just destroys special auras on contract, which is really great. You gotta love that card. Ami Cook Ice. This one was actually kind of crazy. It's playing Babe the Blue Ox. Now this card, guys, is just an absolute tank. In case y'all haven't seen it before, um, it is plus 100 when it's snowing, and then also with Tundra Stampede. The attack effect is target opposing page in combat is inflicted with freeze. And then X uh, is the result of a dice roll. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, no, I'm just re I'm just rereading it because like it's a Kryptonation card and some of the wordings on these cards are just kind of off. But basically he is just a big hitter. 150 damage with snowing and then you have plenty of ways to get out snowing. You have four copies of Pomola. You have, does he do snowing? Am I crazy? Um, and then, yeah, Jack Frost does snowing. Uh, Wahila does snowing for two turns for you, which is really great. And then side deck, he's side decking Morpheus. <clears throat> I think Morpheus is really great. Nightfall. I think most of these beasts are in Nightfall. So Ami cooks, um, I guess, Jack Frost, and that's really it, I think. Hmm. Oh, he's also side decking another copy of Ami Cook. That's great. I like this deck a lot. I think this deck is actually really, really solid. Um, I was playtesting with it a little bit the other day. The only thing that sucks about it is that it is really, really slow. If you get outsped within the first... I'm going to say you get going really after the third or fourth turn. If your opponent is playing something just immensely fast, you will lose the game. Which kind of sucks, but it is a pure control deck, and I like it a lot. 
Uh, next off, guys, a 45 card spell book. Uh, this is another cosmic deck. I like this one a lot. I think this one is my friend John's. I'm just going to take a wild guess because he's main decking Chaos Crystal. Just taking a guess. I don't know. Um, but overall, I like this deck a lot. The one neutrality, I'm not sure why it's in here. I don't specifically like it in Cosmic. Because you're not really doing anything with it. I mean, out of all the monsters, Reptor Dweller has one. Alverde Entity has one. Kuz, you can bring it out for two, I guess, if you really wanted to. But it's not that great, I think, in Cosmic. I think if you really wanted to, you could take out the neutrality and play another Cosmic Aura, honestly. That's how I feel like. Um, this one feels like a slightly different version of the old Cosmic deck. But I like it a lot. I think it's solid. I think it's consistent. I do like the Bookmark Blues. I think that's really good. Um, destroy. Why are you using Destroy Terra? Am I crazy on why they're using Destroy Terra? Let me, let me look at terraforming again, right? Why would you be main decking that? Why would you be main decking Destroy Terra instead of Terraforming? Destroy a target Terra page and all other Terra pages that share a symbol with it. That Terra is no longer active. Yeah, why would you be playing... Maybe it's the combo with Neutrality? Maybe it's the combo with Neutrality. That's the literal only thing... Oh wait, no, it's a zero cost. Okay, so I don't know... Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Okay. Maybe it's because it's a zero cost and terraforming is a two cost. Maybe that's why. That would make more sense. Okay, I'm literally just finding things out about this deck that I didn't even think about when I skimmed over it. Um, I do like old Saybrook's blockheads. Uh, this guy, in case y'all don't know, the second line of contract, the spells cost supposing caster one more neutral to contract. Um, that was eroded to be an arena effect. So I'm just letting you guys know, just in case y'all don't know about that. Um, this side deck just looks like a bunch of, like, good one ofs And I like it. I like the, I like the random, like, kind of side decks that have a bunch of random one ofs I think that's good. But, try a few test hands, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I like this deck a lot. I, I was kind of harsh on it for a second. Because I didn't understand Destroy Terra was a zero. But I think this deck is actually really good. I do like that it's playing above 40 cards because... I don't know. It's just... Games can run a little bit longer. And I feel like this deck has enough search power for you to be good with playing 45. Like, it doesn't matter too much. Um, I don't like it a lot. I do also like the one main deck copy of UFO in case. In case someone is trying to do the UFO UTK or OTK. Um, the UFO alternate win condition. I think that's really good. Um, overall, guys, I like all of these decks. I like the Lightning one the most. This Lightning deck actually does look really fun. I do like it a lot. He's main decking Ding Bells now. He's playing all the big beasties, and I love it. Um, this this one I might have to play a little bit myself. This one looks goofy fun. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I do videos like this all the time. I do random discussions. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.